1959 tore families apart. Millions fled the island nation as the communist dictator seized property, silenced the press, and jailed dissidents. Cuban American politicians tonight condemning Castro's oppressive 50 year regime. Meanwhile, Cuban exiles are celebrating in the streets of Miami. News Channel 8's Gene Ramirez is live in Miami for us tonight. And, Gene, what's the overall tone where you are right now? Well, it's electric is what I can tell you, Rod. People uh, celebrating what they're calling a joyous occasion, the death of Fidel Castro. This street where I'm at right now, Southwest 8th Street, is the buzz uh, and the hub of activity here in Miami. As we show you a good look of the famous Versailles restaurant, right under that Cuban flag you see there is the famed coffee window where day after day Cuban exiles join to share some Cuban espresso and talk politics. Today, the talk has been about nothing other than the death of Fidel Castro. People of all walks of life coming out here to be here for this occasion, be in community, including some believed to be here only in spirit. They died there and couldn't see the happiness that I'm experiencing, says Enrique Torres, holding an old portrait of his parents. He left Cuba in 1999, never to see them again. Both died before they could be reunited. It's the story of many Cubans who start their own families here in the U.S. It feels good. Like this grandfather bringing his granddaughter to witness a historic event she may be too young to understand. They're just some of the many celebrating Fidel Castro's death Saturday at the iconic Versailles restaurant, the town square of Cuban Miami, where old and young continue to gather, including this Fidel Castro look-alike, with one purpose. Celebrating a new Cuba, a Cuba that is going to be free, that is going to be democracy. Though local leaders warn Castro's death may not be the key event many once thought it would be. Unfortunately, you still have Raul, the regime still lives on. Uh, and what we're hoping here is that uh, we, we can see the end of the regime, you know, sometime sooner rather than later. And Rod, back here live in Miami's Little Havana neighborhood outside the Versailles. You're looking at a teaser here from the Miami Herald, the front page of the Sunday edition. Pretty self-descriptive there. The headline in big, bold letters, Castro dead. What happened was the Saturday edition had already gone to print when news of Castro's death made it here to Miami. So now, of course, everybody waiting for this Sunday edition sure to be a collector's item here in South Florida. Rod, back to you. Uh, Gene, do you get the sense that this kind of celebration is going to be going on for several days? Oh, absolutely. You can see here this crowd continues to grow. We have uh, been here since about midnight when the news started spreading here in Miami. And sure, it flows. That's the point. It thins out, then it grows again. But these people, as you can see, have plenty of energy, and they're not giving up anytime soon. They've been waiting a long, long time for this moment, Rod. All right. Gene Ramirez reporting live for us tonight in Miami. Gene, thank you.